been going on for a month now. The threats are escalating. Ava's gallery was trashed. The stalker was able to leave a toy in Avery's room. It is unacceptable that there's Sean been- Sean Butler? Stella, whatever you have to say, Look, just- I I'm okay, Jordan. Yes, ma'am. I'm Sean Butler, and you're Miss Henry. Thomas is out. Okay, I can't tell you how sorry I I'm not interested in your contrition. But I do have a few things to say to the man who killed my nephew. Would you like to talk privately, Miss Henry? I suppose that would be best. I'll be back. That was tense. And none of your business. The investigation into my stalker is definitely my business. Did the boot print that your team found at the scene lean to anything? Yes, we're making progress. Can you be more specific? I need details. Why, so you can set another trap? Take matters into your own hands? I'm afraid not, that's all you're getting. But I have a right to know. You do not have a right to interfere with an ongoing police investigation. Stay out of it, Nicholas, leave it to the police. End of discussion. Thomas was my nephew. I lived with my sister the whole time he and Curtis were growing up. I helped raise him. We were very close. He always spoke very highly of you. I don't need you to tell me about Thomas. I knew him down to the soles of his feet. With all due respect, ma'am, what do you need from me? You want to unload on me? Fine. I'll stand right here and take your verbal lashing. I owe you that at least. I know what I took from you. Oh, please. You can't possibly understand what you took from me, what my family lost. Thomas was a good man and a good father. He should have lived to see his son grow up and become a doctor. What? You're gonna tell me you're TJ's father now? Because a father's more than DNA. Look, you're getting an argument from me. TJ accepts that and so do I. Thomas was TJ's father, but so am I. <laughs> you're comparing yourself to the man who was there for TJ until he died. No, you are. I know Thomas loved TJ, but I love him too. I couldn't be his father because up until recently, I didn't know I was his father. And until recently, you were behind bars, where you should have been a lot sooner for killing my nephew. Thomas was my best friend. Oh. But he snapped. He threatened to kill me. I shot on self-defense. Oh. Carried the pain and waited there for the rest of my life. Oh, sure, sure. He was your best friend. But that didn't stop you from sleeping with his wife. He snapped because of your betrayal. It wasn't all on Sean, Stella. We both know that. <sighs> Jordan, you and I have made our peace. But don't expect me to offer it to the man who ended my nephew's life. He's lucky to be out of prison. Well, up to me, he's right there. You're not being fair, Stella. Just... Let Miss Henry say our peace. No, I have nothing more to say to you. Just please stay out of my way. I'll do my best, ma'am. Jordan, thanks for dinner. Good night. Are you all right? You look shaky. It's been a long time coming. But I confronted him. I did it. And I stand by everything I said. Did it make you feel any better?